this video, we're gonna be comparing two different die casts. These are both from opposite ends of the spectrum. We're gonna be comparing Hot Wheels and Ignition Model. I think it's a great opportunity to compare the differences from lowest to highest starting right now. James here again with Model Cars Houston. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I drop one video a week every Monday, but like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you can stay up to date on all my new video drops. We've got the Pandem uh, GR Supra here. We've got the Slide Street uh, Toyota GR Supra as well on this side. A little bit more premium Hot Wheel. This is part of a five car set as you can see on the back here. So starting with the casing, I think you can immediately notice the difference here as far as the presentation goes. Obviously Hot Wheels doing their thing with the cardboard and plastic case to hold the vehicle. And these are obviously found on your typical pegs. However, Ignition model model is doing the presentation with a nice base acrylic case, a sweet looking plaque. So definitely a noticeable difference between the two when it comes to that presentation value. However, let's take it to the next step of opening them up so we can see how the details for the cars look. A few moments later. So as far as Hot Wheels goes, uh, for this premium line, you know, once you open it up, that's going to be it. However, with the ignition model, you can slide it out. You've got this nice case here. You pop that open and voila. Now these are screwed, uh, as you can see at the bottom. That's what holds that model car in place. But you can see this metal plaque here that really just gives it that professional look. Uh, obviously with the Hot Wheel packaging, you're not gonna be getting any of that. However, it does have some really cool uh, artwork on the cardboard piece. So these are Toyota GR Supras with the Pandam Rocket Bunny wide body kit. So looking at the side by side as far as scale goes, it looks pretty darn close. I would wanna say 64 to 64. I can start to see some differences in the fender flare for the rear section uh, right here. You can see that right there. Uh, just looks a little bit more wider when it comes to the body kit for the ignition model over here but you'll also notice with the ignition model you're going to see this limited production verbiage here which with a with ignition model you're always going to get these in limited quantities so they only print a few before they all run out uh, for hot wheels it obviously works the same way they're not going to be making these forever but of course we know that hot wheels are a little bit more mass produced so they're probably going to be printing thousands of these with ignition you're probably looking at around the thousand to two thousand range when it comes to this stuff so a little bit more rare try to keep it more of a collectible item for Hot Wheels I'm sure that the collectors are doing the same thing as well so I went ahead and removed the ignition model version off the base so we can hold it a little bit better but when we put it side by side we can see it like that now all right so here we go guys looking at it from the front the decal and livery work on the Hot Wheels is actually a lot more appealing I think it looks really cool with the Greddy Toyota, the stripes here, some of the sponsorship logos. The Ignition model, you're kind of going for more of a cleaner look, so you're not gonna have a ton of livery or decal going on. You're just seeing the couple of logos here and here. You'll immediately notice that Hot Wheels is rocking decals for headlights, whereas with Ignition model, you're gonna be messing with the actual plastic inserts for headlights just to give it that extra sense of realism. So when it comes to collector grade die cast and resin models, you're always gonna have these inserts as opposed to stickers and decals. Looking at the front bumper, you'll see the Toyota logo is noticeable on both. The front bumper looking pretty much the same. And you actually see some of the detail for the front venting here. Uh, where the wad body goes whereas the ignition you don't see those it's actually painted over white you'll see it right here you'll see the black right there bumper looking the same for the most part so we're good there looking at it from the side profile the thing that stands out to me almost immediately is that you've got no side view mirrors on Hot Wheels guys look at that just plain flat out missing uh, you've got a side view mirror here you also have some of the A-pillar details on the ignition model right there. Whereas Hot Wheels, you don't see nothing. It's just kind of like a plastic piece that 
molds along with the windshield. Again, the details on the livery for the Hot Wheel does look a lot cooler. The ignition model certainly has a more aggressive stance. You can tell that it's lowered. We see some of the details with the riveting here on the ignition model, whereas the Hot Wheel you don't, it's just kind of painted over. The detail for the door handles are a little bit more prominent on the ignition model. The wheel setup is just glorious on the ignition model. You've got a gray setup with polished lip, whereas Hot Wheels, you're just going for that one color. Spins super good though, that's one advantage with Hot Wheels, whereas ignition model is more for static display. So you're not gonna be getting much of that spin action. Side skirts look the same. It's got the matte black going. You got the decals as I mentioned before. You've got rubber tires on both, so that's good. That's an extra. This Hot Wheels line for the premium, you're gonna get the rubber tires as opposed to the 99 cent regular old versions where it has plastic tires. And then moving to the back, lots going on on the back here. So you're going to get more decals, no decals. Spoiler actually looks a lot thicker on the Hot Wheels and it looks not as wide. The ignition model certainly has a wider profile it looks like when it comes to that spoiler. You can see the ducktail part here is a lot thicker, a lot bigger. Certainly you can tell that. The tail lights are gonna be the exact same as the front, whereas Ignition, you're actually using red inserts for plast of plastic, whereas for the Hot Wheels, you're just using decals. For the exhaust, you actually have some detail of a titanium tip, whereas for the exhaust on the Hot Wheel, you just got that molded to the base of the Hot Wheel type of exhaust, so it's just one whole piece. You can see that the brake light here is a little bit more detailed as well, whereas on this one, it's just all black, and you've got a couple more vents going on there, nothing here, just nice and clean okay one detail I see is that right there you'll see it's got painted over white whereas on the Hot Wheel you'll see the black there so another little detail that was missed with the ignition model let's go to the roof you can see some of the roof lines here which gives it a little bit more realism whereas this one you're not gonna see any of that you can immediately tell that the rear hatch window is predominantly smaller on the Hot Wheels, whereas on the Ignition model, you're gonna get a little bit bigger window. So that's probably, I'm gonna go with Ignition in terms of accuracy for that one. And looking at it from the other side, you've got a little bit of a detail for the gas cap. Here you got a lot of it. You're gonna see that riveting detail for the widened fenders, whereas on this one you don't. And just to show you guys, you can see immediately that the rear fenders are certainly wider on the ignition model. You can tell right here. You see how it's not as wide here as arch. So that's just another difference I noticed. Got some cool decals going here on the roof. I feel like you definitely get your money's worth more on the ignition model, but at the same time, you're obviously getting your money's worth on this too, right? But if you're like me, if you're looking for something with a little bit more detail, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more rare and collector grade, then Ignition Model is certainly a great option for you. So question of the day for you guys, what did you think about the differences between a Hot Wheels that was five bucks and an Ignition Model that was almost over 40 bucks? Let me know down in the comments below, which one would you choose and why? Is it the price point? Is it the details? Is it the brand loyalty? Let me know down in the comments below about what you thought about these powerhouses. If you enjoyed this video, I've got other videos in the next slide. I will see you in those videos or my next video.